Welcome to the Seesaw Folders mini training. This training is designed for teachers who are already set up with an account and class on Seesaw. Be sure to have another device or window ready to follow along with the steps. Research shows that digital portfolios support students to reflect on and celebrate their learning, which leads to greater learning gains over time. Digital portfolios are most effective when they're easy for students to navigate. Seesaw folders help with this because they keep Seesaw posts organized. By the end of this video, you will be able to create folders, tag posts and activities, view and approve work by folder, and keep folders organized. First, create folders in class settings. That's the wrench icon. It looks like this. You can find it here. In the folders section, click Manage Folders. Then create a folder. Enter the folder name and choose a color. That's it. You have your first folder. Create more folders by clicking Create a Folder and repeating the process. Your turn, pause and create your first folder. In your classroom and on Seesaw, folders are only helpful if you use them. Here's how to tag posts and activities to folders. There are two ways to tag posts to folders. One, on the bottom of any post, click the folder icon. It looks like this. You can find it here. The second way to tag a folder is by clicking the three dots, then edit folders. Either way, you'll be able to select a folder or create a new one. You'll know a post is tagged to a folder because you'll see the folder name down here. Tagging posts one by one is time consuming. Here's how you can save some time. When you assign a Seesaw activity, you can tag a folder. Click Edit Students, Folders, Skills. In the Folders tab, select a folder you want all student responses to be automatically organized into. Remember, folders organize student posts in the journal. When you assign the activity, you'll see tagged folders down here. When students respond to the activity, their post will automatically be tagged to the folder, which saves you a ton of time. Pause the video now and practice tagging posts and activities to folders. Now that you're tagging posts and activities to folders, here's how you view and approve posts by folder. To view student posts by folder, click on the class journal or a student's name on the right, then click on the folder icon that appears. It looks like this. You can find it here. Choose a folder you'll see all posts tagged to that folder. You can also approve student work by folder. When you click review, click on the same folder icon and click on a folder. You'll only see pending posts tagged to that folder. This allows you to review all posts by assignment or subject at once. Pause the video now and practice. It's important to keep all those folders organized. Edit or delete folders you no longer need by clicking on manage folders in class settings. Click on a folder to edit or delete edit the name and color, or delete it. Deleting the folder does not delete the student work. All student work will still be in the class journal. One question we get a lot is, can I change the order of my folders? Unfortunately, not at this time. Here's what you can do. Right now, folders show up alphabetically. You can use numbers in front of the names to put your folders in your preferred order. Another question we get is, can I use icon to support my little learners? Also not at this time. What you can do is copy and paste emojis into your folder name like this. A third question we get is, can students tag their own posts to folders so I don't have to? The answer to this is yes. There are two ways. First, as the teacher, you can enable students to edit their posts. Enable item editing in class settings. Students can then tag folders by clicking the three dots, then edit folders. You can also enable students to tag folders when they post. Click Show the Add Folder step under the Folder section in Class Settings and choose Students and Teachers. Now, whenever students post, they'll be prompted to select a folder before submitting. It's your turn. Pause now and explore these tips. Thanks for joining us today. We have so much more we'd love to share with you. Join us for more trainings at web.seesaw.me training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.